friends, this is Jock from Awareness and Action and uh, today we're actually going to be talking a bit about forgiveness. I have alluded to this recently in some posts I did on Instagram during the week. So when we come right back, we're going to go right into forgiveness and I'm going to kind of refute something that was said by a very famous person, a very famous coach and I'll give you the reasons why I refute it. I'm not taking anything away from them. I respect them and I think they're absolutely awesome but the reality is it doesn't matter how many followers you you have or how famous you are or how much influence that you have on your platform your understanding of the mechanics of spiritual law or divine law doesn't always match what your perception is in, in this world world so we're going to talk about that when we come right back in terms of forgiveness and what this actually means god bless Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Awareness in Action. And as promised, we're going to dive straight into this. But first of all, if you are new to, if you're listening to this on the podcast, then welcome. And if you're new, then welcome. If you're listening to it on YouTube, on one of the videos on Facebook, and you're new, welcome. Make sure you like, make sure you share the information if it resonates with you and can help other people. So let's jump straight in, guys. I'm not going to hold back. So I was, I saw a post of it. I'm not going to mention the person, very famous person person and very respectful and I respect this individual a great deal but as I said it it doesn't matter how famous you are understanding spiritual and divine law does not have any significance into who you are or how famous you are and to give you an example of that you know I have met tramps and I've walked the street with tramps and they have had more wisdom and more knowledge in spiritual matters than anyone no matter how famous or wealthy or rich or anything that they are and you know I've conversed with these people that people look upon and say they're down and outs but they have more happiness they have more spiritual wealth and they have more wisdom than any of these than any of us and and I'll share some stories at some point with that but let me just jump straight into this in terms of forgiveness so this individual said forgiveness was a tool and it's a tool that you get better at the more you practice and it's a tool that that you'll use and the more you use it you get better at I kind of cringed a little bit and, and I'll tell you for why forgiveness is a divine law but it's also it's a divine power that we all have within ourselves it is not a tool and it is not a skill and this person said that it was a skill sorry so let me just go back this person said that it was a skill that you practice and you get better at and I thought to myself a skill no that person is misunderstood understanding an element of what forgiveness is and that's why I said it doesn't really matter who you are you you know spiritually you can be more advanced with nothing material than anybody who has everything material and, and has so much influence and followers and all sorts of things because here's the thing if forgiveness was a skill forgiveness being a skill is something you practice that and you get good at so if forgiveness is a skill let's let's liken that to playing soccer or American football or basketball the more that you practice you get better at it so if you're bad at scoring a goal if you're bad at running or dribbling with that basketball to to shoot it in the hoop the more that you practice you're going to get good at it and you're going to be able to shoot it in the hoop boom you're going to score that basket or the same in in american football or something like that or rugby no matter what it is if we can liken it to something that you're bad at even singing and you practice and you practice and you practice you can get better at it's a skill okay Okay, I understand that. I take that on. But a skill is temporary. Okay. And a skill is something that you measure by the result. Okay. And a skill is something that, that once you've achieved that basket, it's no longer useful to you because until you need it again. And some people might turn around and say, well, that's kind of a bit like forgiveness, but it's not because forgiveness is a divine power. Forgiveness is something that you have innate within you. It's a divine gift. It is a divine spiritual law. Okay. You don't have to forgive 
forgive anyone and they don't have to seek forgiveness from you because the reality is the forgiveness is a choice and forgiveness is something that we're going to practice day in and day out. We don't need to forget something, but to forgive something, we have to have an awareness, okay? We have to have an awareness, we have to have an acceptance, and then we can release the power of forgiveness. That power of forgiveness that is a divine law that operates in your life will last an eternity. It will last forever. It will affect everything on all timelines. A skill doesn't. A skill is something you measure temporarily to achieve an objective of shooting that basket or scoring that goal. Yes, you can get better at the skill and get so good that people look at you and you look like you're untouchable because you're so good at that. But forgiveness is within. It is not a skill that you practice every day. It's not a skill that you practice to get good at. It's a power that you release from within inside of you. It is a power, it's an aspect of divine law that you release within inside of you. And if someone has wronged you, you don't have to seek forgiveness from them, okay? Because it's your acceptance, your awareness, and your own judgment of that thing that happened that causes you to suffer. Forgiveness is a divine power you release to allow you to let it go. If you imagine forgiveness could be, you could have a load of pebbles in your pocket, and every time that you you stand by a pond and you take a pebble out and you throw it away, that could be the act of you teaching yourself to let go of something when you join in harmony with the divine action, the divine awareness and the divine power and all of the spiritual gifts that go with it, the clairvoyance, the clear cognizance, everything that's an aspect of it. It's not a skill that you practice to get better at, okay? Because it doesn't matter how good you are at that skill, it's not going to set you up for the rest of your life. It's not going to affect you for the rest of eternity. It's not going to release you from the prison and the bondage that you've created from the judgment of a situation. Forgiveness is something that you will choose to release when the time is ready. Forgiveness is something that you will become aware of how you feel about the situation. And then you become enlightened to the fact that your awareness of the situation is your story and that you can write that story in any which way, shape or form that you choose because you're effectively the author. No matter what someone has done to you, if you are seeking forgiveness from them, you're giving them your power over you. They have that power over you. You don't need to give your power to anyone. So if you don't seek it from them, but you release it from within yourself and give yourself approval or give yourself the catalyst from your own divine soul, from your spirit, to release all judgment of yourself. It's a true saying, you cannot forgive anyone else unless you forgive yourself. It's not the fact that you're forgiving them for doing something. You're releasing your judgment of what has caused you the suffering. Because what they've done to you, you have judged as being bad. And that judgment is internal to you and that judgment causes you suffering. Your power of forgiveness is the ability to become aware of it, to take action on it and to let it go. There is no measurement of forgiveness. You see, if I learn to to dribble a ball on the basketball court and I stumble for the first few times and then I get better, I get better at that skill. I have a measurement. I was this much better at this point and I was this much better at that point and then I got better at this point. There is no measurement in forgiveness. You don't forgive a little bit and you don't forgive a little bit more and you don't measure it by the mile stick of how much forgiveness you employ. The forgiveness is a power. There is no measurement in it. You either forgive or you don't but it's your choice and it's inherent to you. It's a power within you. It's a divine law that exists in the universe and that divine law is in reciprocation to other laws and harmony with other laws so i want you to think about seriously when someone says that you know forgiveness is a tool or forgiveness is a skill that you learn you're not going to measure the skill by how good you get at it forgiveness is a power you will release and there is no measurement or yardstick by how you forgive someone because you have to forgive yourself because all suffering that happens that is allowed in your life 
life, even though you may say it's existential, it exists externally to you, it exists in that something else has done it. It's your judgment of the situation, it's you that causes your suffering. And the secret to letting go is to become awareness of how you judge the situation. The minute that you release the divine power and you let the divine law be perfect in its operation, it becomes easier because then that power manifests through all those timelines. And that person has to seek forgiveness of themselves for their judgment that caused that suffering because in some way they've suffered. It's like a domino effect. The reality is you don't have to seek forgiveness from them. They don't have to give it and you don't have to give it to anyone but yourself because when you give it yourself approval or acceptance to let it go and the judgments that hold you imprisoned by what has caused you the suffering internally, it is a lot easier to then find the love that exists within that. And that love will carry through everything. And even that person that you have a perception did wrong to you, that is just that perception. And it's their choices. It's their judgments and their choices that activated that. And it's your acceptance or your judgment what they've done that hurt you. And yes, I know it's terrible terrible. We can think about how people have wronged us and everything else. But the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, is that there is a truth in the fact that you, you can't forgive anyone unless you forgive yourself. Because forgiveness is letting go of the judgment that imprisons you. And that's a divine power. It is not a skill. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got any questions, please get back to me. I hope this makes sense to you. It can be a very complicated subject. But remember, we're not measuring forgiveness by forgiving a little bit, forgiving a little bit more and forgiving a little bit more more. We don't do that. It's a divine law that's perfect in operation. It's a divine power that's within every one of us. And we forgive when we let go of the judgments and choices that imprison us. You don't need to seek forgiveness from someone. They don't need to seek it from you. It is how you allow it to affect yourself. So release the power of forgiveness inside of you. Release that divine power. That will help you transform. That will allow you to find love where love was hidden. Because where love exists, nothing negative can take its place. Darkness cannot come in and take away the light. It's a scientific impossibility. Darkness does not consume the light, but the light will consume the dark okay so i hope that's making sense ladies and gentlemen please get back to me if you've got any questions thank you for joining me i will have more guests on soon and i look forward to the next session god bless mm -hmm.